multiple um, uh, lots of snipers and a grenadier and all that. So pretty an effective raid. I feel a little bad for them. They were uh, pathetic. Alright, so Gwen, you don't have to milk your little wounds. You can get up now. I say that, but I've never been shot by a light machine gun before, so maybe I shouldn't tease her about the bullets that she has tanked. And if uh, I have my way, I will never be shot by a light machine gun. That doesn't sound fun to me. That sounds horrible, actually. Uh, let's not leave the door open, guys. That'd be sweet not to spoil all our food because you left a meal in the door. A very strange way to spoil all your food, too. So Giggles here is a mental patient, I bet. Because what name would you ever get of? Yeah, Gil Giggles Turnin, the mental patient. Traumatized use men mental patient. Yeah, he'd be the, the best addition, I think to my colony, wouldn't, wouldn't you say? Like a, a mental patient? Yeah, that would really turn things around. All right, let's lift the restriction on the animals. The huskies free to roam. And I'm gonna try to tidy things up just a wee bit before I end this. Just a tad. I'm getting there already. So I do hope that you guys have appreciated this uh, future episodes. I had some... I would, I would have to say, generally speaking, the mood was a little sad want to lose who I lost but uh, by the same very notion um, I have expanded my defense considerably I have set it up so that I have better power I have uh, crafting rooms I've got uh, you know like I said before better defenses I am primed to expand to this giant giant growing area so it's looking up for me. Um, I just have to be very careful not to have any freak accidents like exploding mortar shells from fire or, you know, uh, infestation or, uh, you know, anything like that that will KIA me. So I'll be, be as careful as I can be. So I will throw up a schedule. Um, I'm not sure when I'll be next uh, broadcasting, but as soon as I know, you'll know. I'll put it up on the channel. Uh, on the live feed and if you have any comments or questions or requests or any feedback of any sort hit me up let me know either on this channel or any of the videos associated with it and i'm looking forward to seeing some familiar faces in next stream so uh i hope to see you again and i hope that all of your RimWorld games goes much more successfully than mine has but at least the very least you can learn from my mistakes i hope so uh, have a good day, everyone, and be careful out there. You never know when a warg's going to bite you in the butt. And that way, these eggs don't have to freeze, and the dogs will actually take care of them, which is pretty nice. And I'll just toss a little roof over them. So they no longer deteriorate. Little roost, let's call it. To start. Now, oh, it's not nearly as as uh, and maybe I'll just have it as uh, unf 
fertilized eggs only. The unfertilized ones, I think the way it works is they have to lay eggs that have already been fertilized. They don't get fertilized after the fact. So that's something to keep in mind here. I wouldn't mind some more cowboy hats. Everyone can wear one. Be a little bit more socialized, I suppose. Um, and I'm going to actually prioritize Gwen here to stop researching and, and finally finish some of the construction projects I've had going on here. Because I really want this kill box in tip-top shape. Because you never know when the next raid is coming. I don't want to be caught with my pants down. I still have to be on the lookout for uh, bionic parts for Gwen. She has yet to have a replacement hand, which is unfortunate. She's been... Um, single-handed for a while but so I can queue up uh, all of the buildings simultaneously I'm just having her deconstruct the things I don't want anymore I've made some decisions and changes to my kill area so I want to reflect that here so granite door steel auto door granite door steel auto door so on and so forth. So this will give my colonists places to shoot from and turrets cover. Now one little trick that I've been told is um, open doors are better cover than even um, sandbags. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm gonna replace some of these floors with concrete. And this way, I can accommodate a lot more turrets, and you know, the whole kill box here is going to be um, somewhat of a, a dangerous thing to, for enemies to contend with. Uh, another thing I can do is put a door. Well, I guess they can exit a lot of different spots, so maybe I, I won't worry about that. So I'm running a little low on meat, and bang for my buck, I think these buffalo that are sitting right outside of my base are probably the best source of it. I think I have queued up all of them, but uh, so let's say Gwen. Oh no. Well, yeah. Even though I want you on construction, I think it's better if you go hunting. Get better at uh, get better at at shooting. Um. Yes, yeah, so one of the viewers asked, what if they flee on the left side of the map? That's what they've been doing recently. I do have a door that leads there, so I can get some last shots. Um, but because I plan on using this whole growing area here, um, eventually there won't be an easy way to flee. So I've got some fertilized eggs here, so I'm going to have a fair bit of chickens. Gwen is hunting buffalo but doesn't know where to stand, so I'm going to kind of instruct her to come close. She's a pretty good shot, actually. She doesn't miss very often. Say that. Oh, no, no, she's hitting. For a one handed lady, she is a pretty good shot. Alright, so Solik, the guy I rescued, exited the map, which uh, increased my rep with one of the Outlander factions. I've got a bit of work to do down here, so this is um, 
going to be a makeshift hospital for when th people get hurt in combat. But uh, certainly it's not ready yet. Davies is surprisingly happy. She is over the death of her husband. Uh, I think most of my people are over their mechanite uh, it, diseases. So that certainly helps out. I have to extend my dumping stockpiles. Oop, let's do this better. Down a little bit. Uh, I saw that people were taking shortcuts by jumping in and out of the um, sandbag area to not be slowed down by this. So this way they'll be slowed to the maximum. Uh, so let's see here. And install my turrets. Oh, pigs joined. Wow, and not a few, like quite a lot of pigs joined. Well, I'm gonna slaughter them. Like I've done to so many before. Uh, I think one of my animals is bonded to Griffith yet. So I'll let that animal follow him around. Reminds me of my dogs. I've got uh, three dogs. And one is bonded to me more so than the other two. Which is very, very cute. So these doors should be opened and stay open. They'll eventually have turrets as well. In fact, because these turrets up here are more likely to get fired on first, I'm going to replace them all with plasteel turrets and move these some of the steel turrets down here where they are less likely to get shot at. Uh, so one of the viewers said they wanted to see research. So I've researched some of the basics here. I've researched machining, uh, some of the microelectronics. I want to get vitals monitor, deep drilling, ground penetrating radar, powered armor, component assembly, moisture pump. Like I have a lot of research that I want done. Um, but even more importantly, I really need uh, I need an extra hand here. So, I'm just going to um, slaughter the pigs. It would be nice to have more animal husbandry, but I'm going to start off with chickens. Because it's far less likely for them to starve. I don't want to all of a sudden require a lot more food than I am able to provide. So, there they go. They just got slaughtered. So my dogs are doing a whole lot of work here, which is great. They are stockpiling eggs. They're moving slaughtered animals. They're incredibly useful. I mean, as hard as it is to train them sometimes, especially when you don't have proper um, animal trainers, uh, I would highly suggest that everyone uh, invest in... Um, animals early because they can be incredibly useful. Now these cargo pods sounded like they were pretty close. It's just beaver skin. But it popped. It dropped like right next to my base with slag so I might as well haul that back. And I've got a manhunter pack of muffalo coming. So I'm not going to have a food shortage uh, anytime soon. Um... So with that in mind, I'm going to put my animals all on house arrest, which I'll have to lift, lift the house arrest uh, later. Yeah, uh, so another one of my viewers said that they really wish that uh, Huskies could be involved in the CI Survival Challenge. God, I wish that that was the case. I've been working on training uh, two of my dogs to sled. Um, so boy, would that be fun to have them sled in real life. You know, or sled in the game, rather. So I've just flicked on um, my turrets here, and I'm going to send my two shooters out to my firing window. But ramen in here, I'm going to send into the bunker. So this is the purpose of this little bunker. If I'm caught out in the open, sort of by surprise, I can take shelter here. 
Now I do need a second set of defenses behind this trap, deadfall trap area for when people do get through. But as you can see, the kill box is pretty efficient here. I haven't had any losses of turrets. They're low, sure, but no losses of turrets yet. Oh, I guess one. One turret broke. Um, that's actually because I don't have this these plasteel turrets built yet. And... I'm actually going to send... Oh, there's a second turret that's going. Going to send my shooters out here because there's only one muffalo left. And it will promptly be shot. Slaughtered. Oh, guess what? Can't catch me. Yep, that's right. So I'll have them pop up, pot up out, and take some pot shots. If I can have them avoid getting injured, that'd be ideal. The only problem with my current weapons is I have really good sniper rifles, but sniper rifles are slow. Alright, so I have a just a buttload of muffalo now. And at the cost of uh, actually very, very few broken turrets, which is pretty nice. Um, my worry is I simply don't have enough room for all of it. So actually what I'm going to do here is... <laughs> It's funny, I'll queue up lavish meals for a while here because I need to actually, pro I have a lot of extra corn and not a lot of room for all this muffalo meat. So I'm going to start cooking lavish meals out of necessity, which is kind of a funny thing to have happen here. A little twist. Yeah, it's a pretty good kill box. There are some improvements to be made, sure. Like, having more turrets back here to be like, hey, guess what? You made it through the death traps. Um, here's some more death. Uh, that, obviously, I need to get done eventually. I think what I'm going to do here... I'll, I'll plan it out first. I don't want to impromptu improve it. I've thought this out a little bit to be the most efficient I could think of. Um... So I don't want to mess with it. But boy, is it a lot of muffalo. Now I have piles of muffalo and little ability to deal with them. So I'm out of space for their meat and the like. As you can see, I'm putting meat outside. So I'm hoping that cooking up a bunch of these lavish meals here will um, improve everyone's mood a little bit and give me more space. So what I'm going to do here is just break down some of these extra steel walls I no longer need for space. Um, so let's actually haul all that steel away, run the power lines through the wall, just aesthetically more pleasing that way, and then expand the area, floor off the places that are dirt, and smooth the places that are stone. But at least this will uh, give my people a little bit more food storage area. This kitchen is just the weirdest, more, most amorphous zone ever. You know, I just... It's up against a bunch of fertile territory, so it's just really strange. Uh, so I bought the, I bought the chickens um, from a bulk goods vendor that had passed by. Um... But the uh, pigs that I've recently slaughtered were a random acquisition. Yeah, I'm going to actually... That's that's a pretty good idea. I'm going to get my all my vegetarian stuff out of the freezer for now. Just because I have so much meat. So hopefully the huskies will start hauling it. Um, actually, there's nowhere to haul it to because I don't have a higher priority area. So I'm just going to add a little stockpile here of critical importance. I'm going to roof it. And call this vegetarian. Oop, I clicked wrong. Vegetarian, there we go. So, 
So I'm going to start hauling all this out. Now, I'm probably going to want a little bit of corn here. Or maybe what I'll do is I'll suspend even cooking of lavish meals and just try to store the muffalo. I'll butcher a few of them, but store the muffalo uh, in this area. Oh man, I have so many muffalo. This is ridiculous.